Wearing handcuffs and a pensive, sad facial expression, 27-year-old school bus monitor Amanda Davila appeared in court for the first time for a detention hearing, charged with second-degree manslaughter in connection with the death of six-year-old Fajr Williams. Fajr meant the world to me. She was, she was my baby. She was my light. A GoFundMe organized by Fajr's mother, Najma Nash, has raised nearly $12,000 for her final expenses. While prosecutors argued that she's a flight risk, the judge ordered Davila's release from pretrial detention. The judge cited bail reform efforts and Davila's clean criminal record. Nash, who appeared stoic and strong, says she has nothing to say to Davila. No, I would not want to say anything because um, it would be uh, distasteful. The nonverbal girl with special needs died after prosecutors say she was choked by her four-point harness that strapped her into her wheelchair in the back of a Montauk Transit school bus last Monday in Franklin Township. They say a few bumps in the road caused Williams to slump in her wheelchair, causing the harness to block her airway. All the while, they say Davila didn't see it because she was in the front of the bus on her phone with headphones in. Prosecutors say onboard video shows 14 minutes went by and nobody on board noticed. Being there was harder than I expected. It's just it's such a tragedy. Such a tragedy. Davila's attorney, Michael Policastro, says Davila is a mother herself to a two year old with special needs and has worked at the company for the last seven years with no issues. To say someone's on their cell phone doesn't mean she was actually uh, listening or had music on or anything like that. Davila faces five to ten years if convicted. Davila's release comes on the condition that she will not have contact with school aged children or the victim's parents. Her next date in court is set for August 28th.